Hey, it's me, Tasha Mack. I'm here at 7th District, and it's a new venue in downtown Charlotte. And I'm about to interview Chef Leandra's wife, or Chef Leo. I'm going to give you a look at the venue. Really nice, very classy, very classy. If you're wondering where the upscale location is in Charlotte, it's here. What's the address? 321 North Caldwell Street. Heard them. 321 North Caldwell Street. So we're going to go ahead and start the interview. If you're watching, go ahead and ask any question. Chef Leandra's right is a graduate of Morris. Morris College. Morris College in where? The Art Institute in Sumter, South Carolina. In Sumter, South Carolina. He's Bowling also- Bowling Green State University in Bowling Green, Ohio. Bowling Green State University in Ohio. And, and the Art Institute here in Charlotte. The Art Institute of Charlotte. So Chef Leo Ray has more than enough credentials and degrees to actually be a chef. Chef Leo has more than enough credentials to actually run this place again he is the executive chef if you have any questions go ahead and post your questions right below here and we'll go ahead and get started chef leo what's up everybody how are you doing check oh. me out all right so we're going to go ahead and get this interview started all right so um first and foremost um i want to just uh tell you uh god is good uh, chef, chef wright uh has a great story yes chef wright is the most recent um survivor and beater of cancer he is a survivor so all things are possible so um if you have any questions post your questions below and chef wright will answer your questions so tell me a little bit about yourself well, you know, like she said, I'm originally from Charleston, South Carolina. Um, born in a small town in a low country before you get to Savannah. Exit 32 off um, I-95. Um, been cooking since I've been 13. Like she said, graduate of Morris College um, with my BA, um, my MPA from Bowling Green State University, and then my associates in applied science in culinary arts from the Art Institute. So I've been around the block for doing my own thing and enjoying it. And now I'm the executive chef of this fine establishment called 7th District here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, so as you heard Chef, right, he's got more than enough credentials actually to be the executive chef here. So, um, we're gonna ask, we're actually interviewing, come on over here. Um, so, if you have any questions, please post your questions below. We're interviewing Chef Le Leandris Wright. He is the executive chef here at 7th District, located in downtown Charlotte on North Caldwell Street. Okay, my first question is, uh, you told me a little bit about yourself, so let's talk about the venue. I know that you own your own business, mm -hmm. so what would make you come outside of, hey Keisha, Keisha's out of Raleigh, she says, hey. Hey Keisha. <laughs> and again, if you have any questions about the venue or the chef, please post your questions below. So, chef, this venue is fabulous. You own your own business. What made you kind of work with this type of venue? I mean, well, it's obviously upscale. Yes, um, well, it's a little bit different from where I wanted to go, but ultimately, um, I enjoy challenging new challenges. I'm familiar with the restaurant industry. I've done it before, and um, to get into this, it was an opportunity that God sort of just blessed me with, and I just jumped on it. Um, the owners are great people to work for. So, Could you give me the owner's name? A lot of um, people don't know the owners, or you may know the owners. The owners are established business businessmen here in Charlotte. Yes. Give me their name. Um, <laughs> full names I can't keep. Real names. But um, the owners are um, Joshua Vereen, um, Kendrick Carr, and Don, I don't even know Don full name. And it's one other one. Okay, so real quick, Chef, we're going to stop the interview. We have a request to actually see the venue, so I'm going to turn the camera and let you see some of the venue. Let me show that. Waterfall. That was for Keisha. Keisha, I hope you enjoyed the 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 quick look at the venue. As you can see, it's very, very smoky gray and slate in here. 
cushions, pillows, chandeliers, a waterfall, two bars, and a, um, what is that thing right there? What do you call that in the middle? Where no, are the, that it's where an they, open kitchen. Open kitchen. So very, very, very classy. Okay, so now we've talked about now we've talked about the venue. Excuse me, we talked about the owners. We talked about the venue. Did you? What do you think about this venue? I, I mean, love it's, it. It's different. One thing about it is that it's a different venue. By having an open kitchen, it really puts it out, so you don't have to worry about any funny business going on when it comes down to the food. So it really puts us on on Foot Street. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about us trying to fake the fraud or anything like that. All of our food is made fresh here. Nothing comes in, you know, comes in frozen fresh salmon. I know fresh how you are about fresh everything. food. Exactly. Did you hear so, that? All the food here is fresh. Chef Wright was my first client that I've ever rocked with, ever. And he did a live recording at a farmer's market and he prides himself on fresh food. Yes, yes. So know that the food here at this venue is fresh. Yes. He wouldn't even work here if, if the food was, was yes. not fresh. Also, Keisha from Raleigh says that's exquisite. Yes, it, is. it is very exquisite. And it's available is it avail for it is available for rental. Yeah. Um, what you want to do is reach out to the venue at any time during the day. That's when the owner has a little bit more downtime. And you can talk to him about actually getting the venue. Um, so we've talked about the venue. We've talked about the freshness of the food. Let's talk about the menu. The How did you influence the menu? Well, my influence on the menu is came on from where I'm from. Like I said, I'm from Charleston. It's a, the menu itself is low country influence, low country southern cuisine on a gourmet level. You know, we step it up a notch. It's not your typical, you know, southern southern food. You know, yes, we do have collard greens on our menu. Yes, we do have red rice on our menu. Yes, we do have southern style green beans on our menu. But it's different from any place else. We don't use pork in none of our product. No pork and collard greens. Exactly. Did you hear that? But it's still good. Okay, so we've covered the fact that it's a low country, southern type of menu. Yes. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever tasted. Is it available? For okay. I don't know if anybody's ever tasted Chef Wright's food. But a lot of his food comes with extreme balance. Yes. For example, I just had his spinach artichoke dip. Uh, uh, Tay Debris says, hey, Tremaine, <laughs> a.k.a. Hey, Tom. What's up, hey. boo? <laughs> That's the girl right there. I guess because I tagged you, then your yes. friends are watching this, yes. too. Okay, so we're talking about the balance that his food always has. From the jump, ever since I started working with you, your food has always had balance. He's he's recreated his spinach artichoke dip, and he's added crab to it. I cannot, I repeat, I cannot taste any seafood in the crab in the in the dip. So how do you make sure that your dishes maintain balance? Well, the, the key to it is making sure you have enough of each ingredient. You never want to have one ingredient over a pound the other. So you want to make sure that each ingredient has its own time to shine. So when you taste my crab spinach artichoke dip, you're going to taste the crab, you're going to taste the spinach, and you're going to taste the artichoke. You know, everything complements itself with, as well as the cheeses that I use in the dip. It all complements it so it never is too much of anything. What what cheeses did you use? In I use pepper jack and, and parmesan. Pepper jack and parmesan. Yes. Okay, um, so let's talk a little bit about your staff. What? How do you how do you manage? Because you're in charge of the staff. Yes. Staff. Kitchen staff. The kitchen staff. Kitchen back of the house. Back of the house. So how do you maintain your taste in your food when you're not here? <laughs> Make well. Everybody follows a recipe. All everything that I have, everything that's now. I will admit, it would never be how I make it because of course I'm unique in all my thing but all my recipe have everything every dish we have in-house is made to a specific recipe for hours so it can be the same taste all all the time it will never be bad it always be good and it always it will always be elevated to the next level so that's how I make sure that when I'm not here every, my my same taste and flavor and flair is still carried out with all my recipes Chef Ray, tell me what separates this venue from all the other ones. A lot of things. Food for one. Food. Food for one. Atmosphere for two. Atmosphere is killing the it. The food, food atmosphere, atmosphere, and staff. And staff, without a doubt, hands down, 
we have the best staff, the best food, and the best atmosphere in Charlotte, North Carolina. Real quick, tell everybody where you're located, your business hours, and if they're interested, when they should come. We're open seven days a week, Monday through Thursday. We're open from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays, 11 to 2 a.m. And Sundays, 11 to 4 for brunch. You and we're located at 321 North Caldwell Street on the corner of North Caldwell and 7th Street. Right, so if you're looking and trying to figure out how to get here, you probably want to take the Church Street North Davidson exit. Yes. And that's the easiest way to get here. We're on the back side of the Charlotte Hornets uh, Coliseum and down the street from the police department. Yes. And across from North Davidson. Yes. Whenever you make, whenever you find time, get to 7th District. New venue, great food, great staff, and wonderful, wonderful environment. Thank you. Oh. Here's our menu. That just shows you our level of class. I wish you could see the whole menu, but I'll bring it in a little bit. Come check us out. I promise you will not be disappointed. District. Amazing, amazing.